lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, things of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, things of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store We know we up under grace, but grace is measured, sister. Grace is not, if somebody gave you grace on your light bill, and say, hey, today your light bill do, but look, look here, I'm going to give you grace until the 15th. So guess what, if you don't got that money by the 15th, what, guess what's going to happen? We're going to cut it off, baby, sister. So grace ain't forever. What y'all pray for? Sister, call our number. That number on the fly, sister. Thank you. Read that. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. But the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, uh -huh. teaching Jesus. us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. In this present world. So since you need to be keeping the commandments, just say the Lord. Hey, bro, you know your nationality to the Bible. Come on around this side right here, brother. What's your nationality? <laughs> See? Everybody say the same thing. You see that, brother? That's 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 a psychological thing that America put us through. Okay, tell me, tell me what I am. I'm gonna show you something. America come from America, that's beauty. Africa come from Leo Scipio's Africanus, brother. Those are two white men. Do you come from two white men, brother? You told me. I asked you, do you know your nationality? You said absolutely. <laughs> you see that? It's programming. They gave that to us in 1986. Jesse Jackson coined that term. Before that, they call us they call us blacks. Before that, they call us what? Afro-Americans. Before that, they call us Negroes. Before that, they call us niggers. See, it's hard for them to hear it because guess what? They changed our name to change the game. Because guess what? You can go get any one of y'all pastors. Go get anybody that you think that you can go get. Tell them come out here with us with this Bible. And we'll chew them up like bubble gum with this Bible. That's right. You talking yes, I'm talking to you, ambulance man. We are the real Bible prophet. Put the camera on him, man. I'm yeah. talking to him. Yeah. I want him to know. Put the camera on him. I'm going to let him know. Guess what? We are God's chosen people. They told us that we was niggas. They told us that we were Gentiles. And they, are, they, they, got, out, they got all these pastors in the church telling, giving them this 501c3. And I'm going to let them get away with a whole bunch of stuff. And you can take all your people money, but you got to do what I tell you to do. But we're not up under that code. Right. We're up under God's code. Bring and we out here bringing what the Lord said to bring. Because guess what? To contrary to proper, proper belief, guess what, brother? You are the you are the Jew of the Bible. The new fake Jews in our homeland, those are imposters. The Bible said they are imposters. We are the real chosen children of Israel. We are the children of the wilderness. When they're talking about the children of the circumcision, that's us, brother. We are the people that came over here on slave ships. And that's how we know who we are, brother. The Bible prophesied that over 3,000 years ago that he's going to bring us to a slavery on slave ship, brother. We finna go get there, man. Give me through the run of me, man. The Bible prophesied that we was going to go on slave ships, brother. Did you know that? Did you know that was in the Bible? Watch this. Read it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. What happened? What's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, if we would not listen to the Lord and do the commandments, he said, all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. Now, you can look at all the cities and every hood. Be there, brother. That's a curse that the Lord put upon us because we're the chosen children of Israel and we don't want to listen what the Lord say. That's right. Read it up. Verse 16, uh -huh. curse shall thou be in the city. Now go to any city, brother. You see us standing, in, us in the hoods. Every city you go to, you see people that look me like me and you. We in the hoods. See, the thing is, guess what? See, the thing is, guess what? We we are we in every hood. That's what, you can get that one. We in the hoods. Every hood you see us. 
The thing is, that's the curse that the Lord put upon us because we didn't want to listen. Why you think we the best in everything? We the best. No matter what subject you put us on, we the best. But we at the bottom. Because that's a curse that the Lord put up put us up under, brother. We got to come back to listening to him. And that's how we get about it in that state of mind. And out of this condition, read it up. Cursed shalt thou be in the field. Now, who was cursing all the cotton fields, rice fields, tobacco fields? Guess what? Even the modern day work field. Right. Last high, first fire. That's us, brother. That's a curse that the Lord said he's going to put upon us because we didn't listen to him. Come down to uh, verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. He said these curses going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. Now I'm asking you a question, brother. Now, is a curse a good thing or is a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? Guess what? But he said he's going to be a opponent for a sign and for a wonder. So guess what? The real Jews of the Bible is going to be up under a curse. Now let me ask you something. Are those Jewish people in our in our homeland? Because guess what? You're not an African, brother. That's what America taught us. But guess what? You 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 are you are Israelite according to the Bible, brother. That's right. That's what you are. You're not an African. You're an Israelite, brother. But guess what? He said the curse is gonna be upon you for a sign. So that's why in the last days when we woke up, we can identify who we are because it's a sign. Just like that sign said, that's all rallies right there. We can identify that that's all rallies because guess what? We see the sign. Now when you read the Bible, these they start start talking about the curses. Nobody can fit, nobody fit these curses but us. That's why we can identify who we are. Because guess what, before, before today, you ain't heard that you was a cho God chosen people. You just, we all children of God, that's what the church teaches. But guess what? God has a chosen race of people. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read it up. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. He said he curse is going to be upon us forever. Guess what? God ain't cast away his people. We're still the same people in the Bible. We're still here. Uh, jump down to verse 68. Watch this, brother. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. So now, when the children of Israel, if you know anything about the Bible, the children of Israel, when they first, when they left about Egypt, what they did, they walked about Egypt, right? Now the Lord, so, so, the Lord told them, he said, look, I'm going to send you back to Egypt again. The next time I send you to Egypt, I'm going to send you there on a slave, I'm gonna, on a ship, right? Now, now let me explain something to you. I'm going to show you what that Egypt means. Watch this. Read it. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Okay. We're going to show you what the word Egypt means. Because guess what? They tell you to read the Bible. You can read the Bible all together like a novel. But the thing is, to get the deep, dark parables and the allegories and the similitudes of the Bible, you got to go precept upon precept with the Bible, brother, to get the real understanding. See, the thing is, they didn't teach us how to read the Bible. Don't give me that right quick so, so the brother can understand what we're doing. Because you might see a flipping back and forth in the scriptures. The reason why you're seeing a flip back and forth in the scriptures because we're giving you, thus said the Lord, but we're showing you how the Lord said to read the Bible to get the better understanding thereof. Hey, sisters, this Bible for y'all too, sister. Y'all give us a little few minutes of y'all time, man. Read it up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 9. Uh -huh. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Uh -huh. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Bible said, whom shall he teach knowledge? And who shall he make to understand the doctrine of this Bible? Read. Them that are winged from the milk. He said, them that are winged from the milk. See, the thing is, what does a baby do? A baby sucks on milk. But when you wing a baby for the milk, the baby is the baby's growing up, it's getting older, and it's learning more, and it's getting wiser, right? Three. Them that are winged from the milk uh -huh. and drawn from the breast. Okay. For, for precept must be upon precept. He said precept must be upon pre precept. Read on. Precept upon precept. As, as brother, if the Bible going and talking about it's supposed to be a witness upon a witness or a law upon a law, brother. Read. Line upon line. He said line upon line. Read. Line. <coughs> line upon line. Uh -huh. Here a little and there a little. He said you got to read here a little and there a little. Because check it out. You might read something right here and you might have to go and line it up 
We might read something in the Old Testament, you might have to go line it up with the New Testament. Because guess what? When you read something in the New Testament, a lot of times in the New Testament, they got it from the Old Testament. So that's a precept that goes with that. You understand what I'm talking about, brother? Okay, so now when you see me flipping back and forth, I'm just flipping back to give you the understanding thereof. You understand, bro? Okay, let's go back to that 28. Read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. See? Thank you, brother. We are here to bring this said the Lord, man. And a lot of times when people, people, they stay here for a minute and they get an understanding, but they get drawn away. The Lord, the Lord's words, guess what? It's not important to a lot of people, man. Read this out. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. See, that's, how you, that's how you come to, to that you want to be a more servant? You got to gather amongst your people, brother. You got to come gather with your people, man. Just said the Lord, man. See, because guess what? When you see that little rat over there, he want to throw a water bottle from across the street. You see the thing is, he do that because we tell our people who we are. And guess what? He don't like that. He don't like that we God chose the people. He don't like that he's going into captivity because God told him that that's what he's going. Bring it out. And see, guess what? A lot of our people, they don't like that we tell them people that's too. They can't stand it because we tell them what the Lord say, man. See? Like you brothers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but our, our numbers and everything on that. We got class on Wednesday. We got class on, on Saturday. Okay. See, the thing is, you come and you join. Get amongst brothers. Guess what? We go and we learn. And we, we show you the Bible. Thus said the Lord. We don't teach things out of our own mouth. Right. You ask the question. That's why we ask brothers every time we come out, any place we go, what question you got? Right. So cause when you give us a question, we're going to go to the Bible. We're going to answer that. Thus said the Lord. Right. You understand it? That's how we do it. That's how we always going to do it. So the thing is, that's why we're telling our brothers, guess what, we got a YouTube page. If you look at our information on their fly, we got a YouTube page on there. Guess what, you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us, uh, 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 our phone numbers, all like our contact information is on there, brother. And then, then guess what, if you want to come gather with us, brother, come gather with us, man. On, on Wednesday, we go to club. on Saturday, we... We go to class, we break bread, we eat, and we come out, we teach the word to our people trying to raise the nation, bro, brother. Okay. Yeah, most well, definitely, because uh, I do know that part that, uh, I do recognize that part that it says that we will come to Egypt again by ships and stuff. I do, I, I, I did read that, and I do know the Bible, it is, uh, it is speaking of it, it's saying that the only way that we're going to uh, be saved is we come back, you know what I'm saying, to our roots, you know what I'm saying, to go, you know, come back to get saved. So, so I understand that, so I've been going to different churches, and I heard, I don't hear them trying to save nobody, so... They don't try to save nobody. They, try, they just trying to get they, they teach for hype. Yeah, they teach for hype. They're teaching the people to, um, to give their money up. You know, but as you right. can buy your way into heaven. That's you know right. If you, well, all you have to do is do this, and God going to bless you that way. You know what I'm saying? I understand mm -hmm. that. Prosperity you know, preach. Yeah, so I understand that God do, will turn his spirit to you. You know what I'm saying? As well, too. You know See, what but saying? you got to be doing what the Lord said to do. Yeah. See, give me uh, Psalms 111 and 10. Show you something. Watch this. Watch this. Read it. Book of Micah chapter 3 verse 11. The hands thereof judge for reward, uh -huh. and the priests thereof teach for height. They teach for money. We don't teach for money. We all of us got jobs, brother. We work, we, we, we provide for our family, we do thus said the Lord, brother. See the thing is, we you can come amongst the brothers. We we show brotherly love and how we show brotherly love through the scriptures, brother. Okay. If you got any problem, anything that you're dealing with, smoking or whatever, horn sisters out, whatever you got, brother. Guess what? We consult with each other through the Bible, brother. We go through the Bible, and guess what? And when we go to the Bible, let the Bible be the, the, the end all, be all. So it's no, it's no. Me and him can have a discrepancy back and forth all day long. But when we go to the Bible, he gonna look and say, "Well, that's what they say." I'm gonna look. Well, that's what they say. We agreed on it, and we'll leave that alone. That's how brothers, we, that's how real brothers really do, brother. So I'm gonna ask you a question. So I'm not a Christian. I ain't need it. But we are the true Christian if you want to call it that way. But I'm going to ask you a question. So, I don't like, so, is, uh, Israelite, Israelite, so it's more of, 
of like you know how they try to say that we black, right? So Israelite is just what we what we are, right? We Israelite people. So it's not you so we're not it's not like a religion or anything or Israelite. See, this is a nationality. Okay. You see what I'm saying? What I'm because saying. they calling us black. Right. But we're not black, brother. Right. See the thing is, we the children of Israel, brother. Right. Right. See the thing is see the thing is if you was they say that you was African American, okay, because you they say you look like an African and you was born in America. That's why I tell you that. But I'm asking you something. If you was born on an airplane, would you would your nationality be an airplane? See, nationality don't dictate who what your bloodline is, bro. Your bloodline is guess what? You are a child. You are you are from the from the nation of Israel, bro. I, I, I understand the Africa was conquered over by uh, uh Leo Scipio. Yeah, Leo Scipio is African. I understand that that's not that's not the original uh, name of our country. Yeah. See, but we we not from Africa, bro. Right. See, they fought against our brothers in in the Punic Wars, and that's how he changed the name to change the game. But their original landmass was Ham. That's what the name of the country was. Right. But we not we not Africans. Give me Exodus uh, 11 and 7. I know I got you holding about nine precepts. Yeah, I, I'm ready. <laughs> I know I got you holding about nine precepts. Watch this though. Read it. The Book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life. For an heritage. So that's what he gave us. A law of life for our heritage. He didn't give this, he didn't give this to us for uh, a religion. Because you can read from 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 uh Genesis to Revelation, and guess what happened? He never said be a Muslim or be a Baptist. He told you he told you to follow his law, statutes, and commandments. That's the only thing he told us. Watch this. Now, now I, understand, I understand that that religion came on later. That's right. That, yeah. Exodus chapter eleven, verse ten. But against any of the children of Israel mm -hmm. shall not a dog move his tongue uh -huh. against man or beast. He said against any of the children of Israel. You see, that's these brothers on this on this on this twelve tribe right here, on this chart right here. He said against any other children of Israel, brother. Those are all the children of Israel right there, brother. Read. That ye may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So he put a difference between the Egyptians, which is the Africans. And Israel, you understand? They look like us, but let me, let me, let me, let me explain something to you. They can't, they can't beat us running, fighting. They can't do nothing we do. They can't beat us dancing. They can't beat us in anything. Why? The, you don't see them Africans. It's a lot of them Africans be, be seven, eight feet tall. Guess what, man? We come over here, we in the, a lot of us be six, one, six, two, six, four, six, five. We in the NBA. We in the NFL. Why the Africans ain't coming over here dominating? We was the same people. This guy, we got to be a chosen race of people that's more dominant than all the races, bro. Watch this, read this. This is out of the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, the definition of Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, uh -huh. and one of eight persons to live through the flood. Now, do you, you, are, you, are, you familiar with, the, not, you, you familiar with Noah, right? And guess, and he had, in, 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 in the Noah's Ark, and how he had him and his wife and his uh, three children and they and they something in they wives, right? Okay, read. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Okay. Now he said that now we speaking on Ham. Now I tell you that Africa, guess what? That landmass name was Ham. This one of Noah's son. He said, now Ham is the progenitor. Progenitor means the father of. Okay. He said Ham is the progenitor of what? Of the dark races. Of the dark races. Can we, that's what, uh, the Africans and us, we dark races. That's sister, come on back over here and get some of his words, sister. Read. Not the Negro. He said, he said it again. Not, not the, the Negro. Negro. He is the father of the dark races, not the Negro. See, because we Shemites and they Hamites, bro. That's the difference between us. You understand what I'm saying? See, the thing is, America taught us to be, oh, y'all Africans. Y'all come from Africa. Okay, we Africans, why them Africans never came and got us? You see what I'm saying? They never came and got us. And I'm, I'm going to tell you one even more than that. Why they don't stay in our neighborhoods? Because they know they not us either. That's right. You see what I'm saying, brother? They changed the name, they changed the game, bro. Wait, but the Egyptians. Now these are the Africans, you know. The Egyptians. The Egyptians, you know. The Ethiopians. The Libyans, and the Libyans and the Canaanites. And the Canaanites. That's who that's who they are, brother. They, those those people, that's who they are. That Africans, those they, they they those people. They ain't like us, brother. 
So, okay, so, okay, so, like, okay. So, wouldn't it be like I have both in my blood because, because, like, my grandfather is from, my grandfather is from Ghana, right? Ghana. So, Ghana. So, Ghana. So, my grandfather is from Ghana, but my, my people is from here. So, wouldn't I have both, both sides of my blood now? No, you have, you are who your father is. Because I, I, I box for a living, right? So okay, my, right on. My, Right, so it means it means God of So I do know that God means you know we have a connection with the Son. That's we get our body with the etc. Right, so but I got that name. It was given to me from my from this side. You know what I'm saying? Because I my body with the Son. So I'm saying so. So you saw I'm, I'm, I'm with my father. Okay, so my. So which which was my which that's my that's my uh, on my dad's side. You know what I'm saying? My, on my dad's side. So when I be I be I have both in me then. No, no. On my dad's side, my grandmother's father is from Africa. He said, on your daddy's side. He's from Africa. No, it go, it go, it go merely from your daddy, your daddy's side. It go straight through the man bloodline, right. all the way. No women, straight through the man. Okay. I'm gonna show you something. Watch this. Uh, yeah, let me get this. Watch this. Watch this. The Book of Numbers, chapter one and verse eighteen, mm -hmm. and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, uh -huh. and they declared their pedigrees. After their families, by the house of their father. Now, now, what's a what is a pedigree? Yeah, that's your lineage. Like you, you know, I have a dog, have a pedigree. Okay, they they determine your lineage by the house of your father. That's what the Bible said. So let me, because this is the whole thing. If you get an apple seed, right, and you plant it in Ghana, right, you gonna get an apple tree, right? You get that same apple seed you plant in America. What you gonna get? An apple tree, right? So whatever that seed get planted. That's who you is, right? right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The Bible don't make mistakes. They cover everything, bro. Hey, brother, uh, the thing about like Ghana, we had people that was left behind in Ghana. Certain Israelites there. So like he said, see what uh, what you got to realize, does this Bible, that does that, that the spirit of this Bible agree with your spirit that you have, with your, with your mind? When you're in your mind sitting thinking about things, you got to be in that spirit, and your spirit should line up with that Bible. Do you believe what this Bible saying that the children of Israel are the Americans that's over here, and we scattered through the four corners of the nation? And Yahweh Shai came back only for the Israelites. That's what this Bible speaks of. And you know, I used to look at the Bible different because it was, it was, it was taught from a European man, right? Uh -huh. but, uh, but I, I always said the, the real community was King James. But since I've been watching on, on YouTube, uh, you, uh, uh, Israelite brothers, they've been preaching from the King James Version. It makes more sense to like, damn, that's who I am. You know, these are, I, I, am, I am who the Bible is talking about. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it, it, it makes, it's a different, it's a message that sounds different coming from somebody that's like you. you know that's what right. Saying? It's pointed out to the servant who you are. I'm going to show you the reason why. A lot of people don't like the King James Bible. And a lot of people, why they they say, well, King James this and King James that. Give me, give me, uh, what you at? James 30 and 30. This is the reason why, one of the reasons why. Give me a uh, song of Solomon. One if I read it. Two, chapter 30, verse 30. Uh -huh. My skin is black upon me. Job said, my skin is black. See, but when you read something else, another, another version of the Bible is not going to say that. But in the King James, they us try to say that. Watch, watch what Solomon said. Watch this. Read it, y'all. The book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. What, what's King Solomon said? I, I am, am black. black. But when you read another version of the Bible, it's not going to say that. Right. So guess what? We're going to read what the Bible says. You right. feel what I'm saying? Right. But guess what? When King, yeah, that's the reason why a lot of them don't want to read King James, man. Because of that. Man, show me what color the real Jews are, man. Let's give me a that, Jeremiah. We're gonna show you what color the real Jews are. Yeah, because the thing is, a lot of times they 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 listen to they listen to they listen to what the oppressor say. Gun on that. That's the real King James. They said, "Well, man, don't read the King James. That's the white man wrote that book. No, that's the real King James, bro. Watch this. Read it out. The Book of Jeremiah, chapter fourteen and verse two. Judah morning and the gates thereof language. What color are the real Jews? They are black. What color are the real Jews? They are black. What color are the real Jews? They are black. The Bible said the real Jews are black, bro. You see I, that? I've seen this right here. This is what made me. That, that brother, that guy right there, that was saying that that was Jesus. That's what he started about like 21. 
that's what got me start questioning Christianity, right? Yeah. And I started mm -hmm. understanding like, like they they wanted an image of it that they were describing how Jesus looked in the Bible, right? I see your boys here. Yeah, and he was, I don't think he was a murderer and all this stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they painted a picture of him. And, and all, you know, all the people, a lot of people, they are psychologically, you know, they suck. You know, these churches, they have that white Jesus. Up. That's right. You tell a Christian that it is, they consume you to hell. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, don't want, they don't want to stretch, they don't want to stretch over to the truth. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, want, to, they don't want to accept the fact that what their great grandmother and their grandfather was lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. The generation was doing this, you're going to lie your own life. That's right. So I can accept that to change. Come on. Come on. Watch this, brother. We'll show you what the Bible says. Read it out. The book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Uh -huh. Never trust thine enemy. What does the Bible say? Never, Never trust thine enemy. enemy. So that's what they give us. They gave us the picture of this, man. In the Bible, these are our enemies. This is what the Lord said. That this was this was what slaughtered some of us off of, on the slave ship, bro. This, they came and picked us up from the west coast of Africa. And they sold us when they got over. Watch this. Give me Joe. Watch this, watch this. Look what, what the Bible say. Watch this. Read the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Bible said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Now, who runs the earth? Would you agree the so called white man run the earth? Okay. Read it. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. But guess what? This is what the image they gave us. They gave us this image right here. That's the judge. They cover the faces of the judge. This look more like if you if you read Revelation, we got the Revelation. He says skin with bronze, hair white like wool, white and white in contact. Me white in color, wool in contact. But guess what? They give us this image. Cause guess what? Us as Negroes, we like to see visuals. We like to see a picture or something. But guess what? They believe it, right? So guess what? When they this is how you take three hundred Negroes that's working in the field. And you give him this image, guess what he'll do? Say, this is your savior. And whatever these people look like, you need to do exactly what they tell you, tell you to do. Or guess what's going to happen to you? Some people make us think that they are the sinners of God. That's right. So we respect them. You see what I'm saying? But in actuality, the only thing they did was stole our identity. The thing is, imagine you own a Fortune 500 company, right? And you wake up one day and, and, and you, you went into a concussion. And all of a sudden, you 50 years old, and you wake up, you like, dang. Uh, you get to thinking about one day, like, dang, I remember this place. And they got you working in your company that you was in, that you once owned. They got you, they got you in here, like, dang. Uh, man, I remember this. Seems like I remember this place, and a lot of this stuff I seen, like I seen this work before. But guess what? You woke up like in the last day, we woke up the same way. This is our whole, the world was made for us. This whole world was ours. Right. It's like this is a Fortune 500 company, but they made us janitors. Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? You was a Fortune, 5 co Fortune 500 company owner, but when you woke up out of sleep, you made you a janitor. They right. took everything you had from you. That's what they did to us. A lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, been to war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, been to war